Hi everybody, my name is Katie and I'm with the Penn State Healthy Bodies Project. Today, we're gonna start eating through the alphabet. I always like to start off with a poem, so why don't we do that? I want you to watch and I want you to listen. I'm gonna say the poem first and then you're gonna get the chance to do it on your own. Don't worry, we'll put the words up on the page for you too. This is how the poem goes. I wash my hands, I brush my teeth, I eat good foods all day. I sleep at night and when I wake, I stretch and stretch and stretch and then go play. Okay, now it's your turn. Get ready to hit pause. We'll put the words on the screen for you and you can give it a try. Sometimes we eat when it's not breakfast, lunch, or dinner. These in-between times that we eat are called snacks. We want to eat snacks that will help us grow and be healthy. So some of the things that we can eat are things like fruits, vegetables, yogurt, crackers, cheese. Well, those are just some of them. What we want you to do now is pause the video and talk about some of your favorite healthy snacks. Let's play a game. Everyone's gonna get into a line and you're gonna put your hands on the shoulders of the person in front of you. Your teacher's gonna call out different foods and if they say a food that's healthy and that's good for you, then you're gonna take five steps forward. But if they say a food that's not really so healthy for you, then you're gonna stand still. Do you think you got it? All right, let's play. Let's spend some time thinking about the foods that we've already tasted while we've been eating through the alphabet. What was the last food that we tasted? Hmm. What was it called? What color was it? What shape was it? What food group did it belong in? Hmm. What letter did it start with? Hmm. Why don't you pause the video now and talk about all of those questions and maybe more with the people that you're with. Today, we're tasting a food that begins with the letter O. Can you think of any foods or words that start with that letter? Wow, you came up with some really good words. Some words that I came up with were okra, oranges, and onions. Are you curious to know what our food of the week is? Well, I'm not gonna tell you just yet. First, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you some clues, and then I'm gonna show you part of our food of the week, and I'm gonna have you try and guess what you think the food is. All right, here come the clues, ready? Our first clue is that our food of the week starts with the letter O. That's something we already knew. Our second clue is that our food of the week is brown. And our last clue is that you usually cook this before you eat it. Hmm, do you think you know what it might be? Get ready, because here comes the picture. When you see the picture on the screen, go ahead and hit pause and talk about what you think the food of the week might be with anybody who's around you. See if you can figure it out before we tell you the answer. Can you guess what food this is? If you guess that our food of the week is oatmeal, you're right, it is. Now that you know what the food of the week is, we're going to put a full picture of it up on the screen for you. You're gonna hit pause and then you're gonna talk about it with the people that you're with. Talk about what color it is, talk about what shape it is, maybe even talk about if you've tried it before. Ready? Let's practice saying oatmeal a couple of times together. I'm gonna to say it first and then I want you to repeat after me. Ready? Oatmeal. Good job. Now let's try and say it a fun way. Oatmeal. Good job. Now let's try like a robot. 
Oatmeal, oatmeal. Your turn. Good job. All right, now it's time for some fun food facts about our food of the week. Let's go! Oatmeal is really healthy for us and it's really good for our hearts. We usually cook oatmeal before we eat it. We need to mix the oats with milk or water on the stove or microwave when we go to cook it. Oats are actually a type of plant. Who is ready and excited to try our food of the week? Before we do that though, I wanna sing our tasting song. So stand up and see if you can sing it with me or even dance along. Let's all try this new food, let's all try this new food, let's all try this new food, I wonder how it tastes. Thank you so much for singing the tasting song with me. I'm ready to try the oatmeal now and I have some right here, ready to go. This oatmeal I cooked in the microwave and it has strawberries already in it. You can kind of see the colors of the strawberries. Maybe you can count down with me. Three, two, one. Mmm. It's so good. I like that it's warm too. I bet it would be a nice food to have on a cold winter morning. Next time you go to the grocery store, put on your looking glasses. Pew, pew. Take a look around and see if you can find our food of the week. Before you go, we're gonna do one more poem. Stand up, get your hands ready because you're gonna do the motions with me. Here we go. Hands on shoulders, hands on knees. Hands behind you, if you please. Touch your shoulders, now your toes, now your chin, and now your nose. Put your hands up in the air. Now by your sides, now touch your hair. Put your hands up as before. Now clap your hands, one, two, three, four. That's all for today. Thank you so much for joining us. We've really enjoyed learning with you. And we hope to see you next time when we learn about another new fruit or vegetable. Until then, see you later.